What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. We got some brand new, late breaking news for Ubisoft upcoming FPS X Defiant in the form of a Twitter or a tweet, I should say, that has almost 25,000 views and it was just posted about eight hours ago at the time of recording this video today. Guys, man, here's what the tweet says right from the X Defiant developers saying this, we're working on an improved system. Now this is from the results of that last crossover test, guys. This is what they've been working on since then. The system, we're working on an improved system that reduces internal latency, increases player to server synchronization, and a system that runs at a 60 Hertz tick rate. I know a lot of these terms you may not know about. I'm gonna break it down right here. I'm gonna focus on these three very important, yet very cool things that they are working on, man. And if you actually go to that tweet and click on it, you will get to the official Reddit page for X Defiant, and you can actually read this for yourself. But, so here, here's what they're talking about right here, guys. You know what I'm saying, fam? Latency and hit registration. They are working on improving latency and hit registration. Our upcoming improved system has some key changes. We made several changes to reduce internal latency. This will reduce peakers advantage. You know what I'm saying, guys? Also, we also made changes to improve the accuracy of the server and replica simulation. This will improve hit registration and fairness. These two changes, reduce internal latency and increase synchronization, will make hit registration better and vastly alleviate the feeling of dying behind walls or cover, guys. Last but not least, there's a little note in here basically saying there was some latency issues, but that was during the crossover test because they had some server issues. But don't worry, they have resolved this issue as well. Guys, man, like I said, bro, very welcoming news, late breaking news. I had to share this with you guys, man. And so basically it's like this. Internal latency is basically the average total time that it takes your gaming or your, your console to send data to the server and then back to your device, right? So it's that lag in between that time that you tell the server what you're doing with your gun or your character. Hit registration is, is basically how the server processes gunfire um, from the client, which is your console or PC. Network conditions such as latency can cause a mismatch between the game world and the client and the server. Um, player to server synchronization, basically again, that is the client, when the client, which is your console or your PC, connecting to a single server, over at X Defiant, which sends the client all the information it needs. So basically all that information, the, the metadata, the data you're sending to X Defiant from your PS5, your Xbox, or your PC. So improving the game, basically guys, that's the takeaway, improving the damn game, you know? And also let's talk about the 60 Hertz tick rate. What the hell is that? Our new system will be running at a 60 hertz tick rate. Now, you're like, what the hell does tick rate mean, man? What is tick rate? Guys, tick rate is the frequency at which a server processes updates and information in a game. The tick rate is measured in hertz, HZ, and a higher tick rate means the player receives that information as a, at a faster rate. So that when you send data to that X Defiant server, the X Defiant server is sending you feedback much quicker. So that's what that means, a higher tick rate. Last but not least, the future guys, this was awesome. The work is complete from a development perspective and is now undergoing reliability testing and refinement. Key note, the work is complete from a development perspective. Development is basically done. <laughs> However, okay, uh, let me fast forward. The release of the new version will be ready soon. Guys, I don't have to tell you guys, man. I was so stoked when I heard this news, fam. 
And I was like, dude, that basically means we're gonna, this game is coming out real soon. I mean, that's the main, you know, <laughs> the last part of that tweet or the last part of that Reddit page basically says exactly that. The development is complete from, you know, that's what they're saying, fam. The work is complete from a developer, uh, from, from a development <laughs> perspective, guys. So basically the developer saying, yo, the work is done, fam. Now they're gonna work on some QA, which is quality assurance, making sure everything is up to snuff, making sure all the, you know, I's are dotted and T's are crossed, this, that, and a third, and everything like that. So, you know, um, now there may be another test. I, I want to say there, there may just be one more test after they get done with QA, uh, before they actually do a full release, uh, before they make it available. I think they are going to do one more test, but I think we're still looking at a release date inside 2023. I really think that guys, you know what I'm saying fam? Because development is done. They're working on QA, making sure everything is cool, making sure everything is going to be good. May or may not be another test afterwards. That's kind of what I, what I heard and what I felt when I read that in the Reddit page. And soon enough, yes, we will be playing this game, man. And I am so stoked, super ready for it, man. And, and the fact that, you know, they're, they're sending out that tweet on the Twitter page and, and putting out all the information on the Reddit page is fantastic, man. They're, they basically took everything they learned from us, from, from us, the players, and all these tests and the crossover tests and, and beta tests and all that stuff, guys. You know what I'm saying, fam? And again, back to what they said in the beginning. They're working on this. They, they were working on the system that improves reduce or reduces the internal latency which is that lag in between you know you sending data to the server the server sending you feedback increasing player to server synchronization basically keeping you and x defiant servers in sync and the system that runs at a 60 hertz tick rate which is basically the x defiant server sending the, the process information back to your console, your PC at a higher rate at 60 Hertz. Man, very cool stuff. Guys, man, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. You know, when do you think we're gonna get a release date? You think it's really coming sooner than I think? Also, let me know if you actually went over to that Twitter and that Reddit page and what did you think about all of this juicy information, fam? Yeah, y'all know what it is, man. G Mac Zilla here, back in a bit. Of, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification too, fam, because I'm, be, I'm gonna be dropping another video really soon about some more of this juicy details, man. So also give the video a thumbs up. And like I said, talk to your boy. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. All right, fam. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.